So my name is Vincent Stander. I came to Australia seven years ago. Uh, I've been working in the corporate industry since I arrived and now I am a potential game ranger and a boat builder. I love everything about the ocean, whether it be uh, swimming, surfing, fishing. In December 2011, I resigned from my job um, and whilst out in Bondi I met Nicole. I told her that I was going to have the year off um, with the intention later in the year to go work as a game ranger in South Africa but that I had a couple of uh, months free in Bondi to just you know, try and find something interesting to do. And I thought what an what ideal opportunity to do something different and instead of sitting behind a computer all day you get to actually use your hands and create something. I've called the boat Henrietta and what that is is it's the name of the street that uh, my current three housemates and I first lived in. So my housemates are now along at the launch. I think when they first saw what I'd set out to do, they told me straight away to return the goods because they didn't think I had the ability to do it. Because I think until you've actually hammered a nail into a piece of wood to make it sit tightly together or you know, use the power drill, you think, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to make this work. But you start going and you put together the first piece and you hammer your first nail and all of a sudden things start taking shape and you get a little bit better throughout it. On the second day of building the boat, I actually had my dad come around and help out. Uh, we'd never built anything together before, but he definitely did the first couple of drills. And I think, you know, seeing him do it gave me a lot more confidence in what actually needed to be done. One of the best things about the boat is uh, the journeys it takes you on. One of the things is you actually have to purchase your own marine paint. I went to Sturrix for Sydney, which is in Rushcutters Bay and I met up with Doug Sturrock and I think I probably spent a good part of an hour there talking about different boat paints and talking about the boat that I'd built and what type of wood had been used. I think the key is the relationships that you have along the way. You can phone up the designer Andrew and you know, ask him what the best way is to put on the sealant and I guess it's just all those lessons along the way which make it so worthwhile. And when I tell people I've built a boat they think from scratch and like no probably the most difficult bits have already been done is that the woods already been cut you know the pieces are to like millimeter perfection you get them the instructions are good you just it's just like putting together a big piece piece of puzzle uh, throughout the build you know i'd have friends come around they just wanted to see what the boat looked like inevitably they'd come and say put to put a plank on the boat or drill in a couple of screws and they absolutely loved it and I think you know the fact that they now have ownership in the boat is uh, they actually want to come see it being launched and you know they feel they have part, a part in its creation.